Retro Funny Car Final. DeJoria's car is smoke coming out of the back, and Austin Proc adds his name to the list of people, a short list indeed, that have won in both Top Fuel and Nitro Funny Car, becoming the 19th person to do so, 390, or rather 395 to at 320 miles an hour. Huge moment for Austin Proc, not only to get his first win behind the wheel of a Nitro Funny Car, you do it with your brother working on your team, your dad calling the shots. How big a moment is this for you in your life? This is huge. You know, all you want to do is make your parents proud, and uh, I sure hope they're proud because uh, I definitely am. My dad and Thomas are doing a great job with Nate Hadal and uh, this whole Cornwall team, but a uh, big win for Chevrolet, uh, double up for John Force Racing this weekend, and man, uh, days don't get much better than this. Went to church this morning, great message. Sun was shining down, beautiful day packed house I mean what more can you ask for got a little variety of uh, getting this thing down the racetrack and uh, we're rolling out of here with some gold baby it's going to the wire and at the finish line it's Langdon for the second time this season 376 318 Langdon was 50 and it was Ashley who was 55 to run 384. Man, we've talked about this class. It gets no better than this. As big as this moment is for Sean Langan, he's still working because you're tuning in Maddie Payne, who's still in the Super Cup race, going to the semifinals. For you, this was a big one. I know you wanted to leave with him. He actually left by 5,000, saw him and outran him. It was kind of a picture-perfect day for this team. You know, it really was. Um, this whole Coletta Air team, uh, from Connie to Chad Head to uh, Brian Heason coming over this year, Brian's just done such a fantastic job. Made some crew changes in the, in the crew. Man, they have been absolutely flawless. They've given me a picture-perfect car all year long. Uh, you know, first first round had a little bit of a, a weird kind of hiccup, and I had to do the idle of shame down the track. So uh, the rest of the runs went a lot smoother. I know for the final, you know, Justin and that whole SCAG group over there with uh, Tommy D and, and Mike Green, man, they're, they're a tough bunch. And, uh, and I, I was kind of thinking in my head, I'm like, I just got to leave with Justin and let Brian do his, his work. So when we hit the, you know, I hit the gas, I said, well, we got a shot. So, uh, you know, congrats to Brian and the whole Coletta Air team, everybody at uh, Toyota, uh, DHL, Revchem. Um, you know, it's two out of three is not bad, but uh, we're, we're ready for more. The two cars split off the starting line. A 22 light for Anderson. You are on the money, Tony. He has found something in that race car, and he has found himself a win light. 658.2 at 208.97 miles an hour. Three races, three winners in pro stock. <laughs> So it was an all KB Titan Racing Engines final, and Greg, you are holding that Wally number 104? 104, Runa. 104, Congratulations. That's a nice round number, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's special. It's been a while, and, uh, you know, it's been a tough racetrack all weekend. My crew did a fantastic job. We managed the racetrack. We just flat out raced them, so can't thank them enough. And uh, got a little extra pump today. I was watching the NASCAR race at, at Martinsville today, and... My teammates, Hendrick, were one, two, three. So I felt, you know what, if I don't win, I'm the weak link in the chain. So a lot of pressure there, but I love that. I love the extra pressure. Thank you, Mr. H. Great day for you. Great day for me, too. So Team Hendrick, baby, thank you so much. Hendrick Cars, thank you, guys. Chevrolet, everybody that helps us. Thank you so much, Mac Tools. I love this stuff. Who's getting the trophy? Oh, what a great launch off the starting line. Both of them hustling down through the middle, and the wind light says, Rivenbark, look at the Culp Lumber guys going crazy down there. 574, 249, beats 582. Kevin, you learned it's a dangerous place down here when you went in your first NHRA Wally, got water dumped on us, man. It was 10 years in the making for you. What is this moment like? It's uh Unreal. It hadn't set in yet. Probably on the way home it'll set in. But uh, I mean, off and on we've been running NHRA, and you know, the last few years I've tried to run consistent with them. And this year we're gonna make a complete uh, run for the championship. And uh, to get a win, the second race is uh, is just remarkable. Congratulations. Thank you so much. They're a win light away from holding a Wally at a national event. Jeff Moniz, the quarter pounder, Firebird on the Radford side. Bobby Cottrell, the Fardall, Northwest hitter for Austin and O'Brien. Camaro on the Firebird side. Crew chiefs make the final adjustments and walk away. It's up to the drivers. Race into 1,000 feet for the Legends Nitro Series. Wally 
here at the Arizona National. Bobby Cottrell off the line first, but look at Jeff Moniz, power in the right lane. And he got him, 475, 238. Jeff Moniz is an NHRA winner in the Legends Nitro Series. Look at the crew, they can't believe it. 475, 5, 238 miles per hour. Jeff Moniz did his job. He was 99 on the tree. That's really darn good in one of these things. Bobby Cottrell did what he always does. He was psychic, 069. But that Bucky's machine started eating itself up a little bit down track and watch Jeff Moniz power by to the win. 4.7, 5, 5, 238 miles per hour, margin of victory. 25 thousandths of a second. And for Keith and Bob and Randy and that team, Jeff Moniz, the driver, a car they built in his garage in Buena Park, California, they are now champions in the Legends Nitro Series presented by Modern Warriors. Jeff Moniz, gonna get that big old gold wallet. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Both drivers have won in Phoenix. Somebody's going to add to their resume right here, right now. Brad Burton wheels up and away. Ryan McClanahan on the chase. Here comes the tire man, the Cobalt, the Firebird, finish line. Give it to, wow, Ryan McClanahan. How do you beat a world champion? I'll tell you how to beat a world champion. How about 004 dead one? That is a championship battle right there. Ryan comes out on the right side of it. Brad Burton is 021 and one above, dropping the nose at 135 miles an hour. But Ryan McClanahan, double 04 dead one. He was leaving nothing to chance. But we all done that. Handicap head starts going to go to Mike Cotton. Not a very big one. 1105 is his dial. 16 hundredths of a second later, Marconi gets to green. Here we go. Final round, both drivers away. Cotton. Gets the head start. Tony Marconi's pulling up alongside. Tony Marconi's caught him by the eighth mile. Marconi just trying to keep the nose out in front, finish line. He did it. Tony Marconi wins his first one. And look at him on the starting line going crazy down there. 1092, 116 miles an hour. Mike Cotton missed the tree a little bit. Tony Marconi wins his first. 1092, 116 for the win. Cotton crossed second and broke out at 1104. And 091 line. Jason Galvin was talking about it earlier in the day. Madison's coach slash tuner slash crew chief is the guy that just won the top fuel final, and he's standing down there on the starting line, still got his suit on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Parker with a problem on the starting line, and Madison Payne is going to take a solo. Oh, heartbreak to go through all that we've been through this weekend to make it to the final round and then have a problem appear on the starting line. Madison Payne, 011, does a victory lap at 1084. Picks up her first Super Comp win to go with a couple that she's got in alcohol dragster, and she joins her father as a Phoenix winner. side this end of the racetrack separated four thou that end four hun evan kowalski closes the deal and they celebrate down here on the starting line they were four thou apart in reaction time john dexter went down there and dropped the nose to go 996 a four thousandth advantage for evan at the start a wind light at the end 992 they're in and set fingers off the button Green lights times two. Dylan, trying to hold on. Can he get there? Survey says no. Tom Bear, 615, 211 miles an hour. Had some room. Dylan, been doing a great job on a starting line, and that time he missed it. Dylan missed the ball, but goes 666 on a 666 for the loss. Tom Bear goes 011, one above for the win. Solid in the division as well. Alan Firestone, the Division Five champ. Again, two big-time hitters. Battling it out for the trophy here in Arizona. Ouch. No, 642 for the win for Allen Firestone. Oh, Brian Ward's going to be sick. 
Brian was double o five. Takes the stripe, breaks out by five thousandths. Alan Firestone missed the tree, runs 642, and Brian Ward let him back in. Trophy right here is home racetrack in Arizona. Somebody's going to lose a final round for the first time right here at their home racetrack in Arizona. And they both get away on a green. A little Ford, a little Chevy. The 427 Ford sticking the nose out in front. 565 cubic inches. A big old battle Chevrolet. Convertible Nova. Fox Body Mustang, it's going to be a double breakout, and it's going to go Keith's way. 0-16 on the tree. Put him in good shape. He takes two thou at the stripe, comes out on the right side of the math. Matt Bong was 0-54 on the tree, crossing second. Double breakout. Keith Montague, 0-16, taking double 2 for the double breakout win. And Keith, his third national event win, his third Arizona win, undefeated in final round.